it's mom dukes here and basically this is just a painting with mom dukes nothing in particular you can put it with a diy um any brushes that you may have will be good for this particular type of project so you can go to dollar tree and grab you a little pack of brushes it'll work just as well i'm just going to go ahead and just put white over my whole canvas board and as you see i've already taped off my edges because i do like a clean edge look on some of my pictures that i do this particular picture frame i was a little bored this day and just felt like painting sometimes that's what happens This isn't like a step-by-step -step tutorial, meaning you can paint and do whatever design you choose to do. Basically, I'm gonna be freestyling. I didn't like come and say like, you know what, I wanna paint like a forest and paint like some waterfalls. I just kinda went with the flow of what I was feeling for the day. These are the color choices that I am going to be going with. I'm basically just going to be going with a few blues, a little bit of red, the white as well, and also a little bit of silver I think I'm going to be using as well. And all I'm doing here is just mixing my blues in with the white just to blend it a little bit give it more of a lighter blue color on both of these because I will be using this for the bottom portion of my painting and also for my clouds as well and when I do go to do with my clouds I will be using um, q-tips and it's about eight q-tips I rubber band together so that it can be really tight so it's you know like they all stay the same and that's pretty much all that I use and you'll see that coming up I tried other brushes and other things to make clouds with but to me q-tips have been my best friend in making clouds so I'm going to stick with this method because it's the easiest method for defining shaping making overall just for clouds in general You can leave your picture just like this if you like add a little sun maybe a few little trees through there but I'm gonna do a little bit more and y'all know I got to be a little bit extra so I'm gonna be adding some bling and try to shape it in the shape of a heart that you got time to do your video but somebody want to come mess with you excuse my son guys he's so rude
I'm just mixing a little bit of the silver and the red and applying a little bit on the side of the painting. I could have left it blank, but remember, I always got to be a little bit extra, a little bit different, a little bit eccentric. I believe that is the word. And if it's not, y'all know what I'm talking about and y'all know the word that I'm trying to use. So follow through now. Don't get lost in the sauce. Okay, so I don't know if you guys see the spots where I didn't add a lot of paint at the middle and right up under the red and right um, on top of the blue. I'm going to go ahead and apply my glue and apply my gem so let everything dry there because the only thing that's really there is the white and that is already dry. But you do want to let your piece dry pretty much before you add your glue, your Mod Podge, whatever it is, if you're gonna add bling to it, just keep the spot that you're gonna be adding your bling to. You really don't have to paint that area if you get my drift because it's gonna be covered anyway.
Now, if you're using my Podge, that'll work perfectly fine if you're going to use that to pour over your stones to add an extra layer of protection so they can adhere to your project. I don't suggest you use the white glue because it seemed like it made my stones a little cloudy. And normally, if I use the Mod Podge, then use the Mod Podge sealer gloss behind, it makes it shine just like the star that you see behind. So I'm coming to the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and let all my projects sit and dry before I lift it to show you guys. Again, gracias for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not yet subscribed, don't forget, hit that subscription button for me. Like, comment, share this video. Don't forget, put your bell notifications on. So from mi casa to tu casa, I hope you guys like the painting. Deuces, I'm out. Thank you.